Right, oh, good morning. Not good morning at all. Good afternoon. Um, yeah, for once you actually join me in the afternoon. We had a massive thunderstorm this morning in the UK. So if you're watching in the UK, you probably already had that. I've got about three hours to play with on the Polo, so I thought I'd come down, bring this up here, and get some more bits stripped off the car ready for the coilovers to come. Because I've still got a few things to take off. So get the car jacked up, rear suspension off, control arms off, steering arms off as well. This, if you watched one of the first videos of everything that was wrong with the polo basically the bracket for one of my headlights is snapped it means that when you're driving the headlight sort of swings in and ends up pointing really far down so i needed a new headlight either way got this one so whoever sold me this on ebay it was a little bit of an ebay bargain 15 quid posted for a headlight uh, which i think is pretty good price so shout out to whoever you were if you're watching give us a thumbs up let me know who you are i appreciate it it did come really well packed up actually i have had it already out but there you go pull the headlight it's in unbelievable condition it's in much better condition than my original ones so that is really good i'm not sure what i'm going to do with these yet i've seen quite a few people on instagram that have got tinted headlights and I know it's a bit marmite but I'm quite tempted I only want like a really light one I'm not into this sort of like proper you know blacked out headlights I don't want that I just want them um, not silver effectively because as you can see they're pretty silver from factory so I just want them tinted and I'm not sure whether to go tint film or I know a lot of headlights you can split I've seen people split headlights for other cars I haven't seen anybody split polar headlights, so if you have ever split a polar headlight, or if it's possible, or if you know somebody who's done it, drop a comment below, let me know. Clear indicators is a big thing on polos. I've sort of been there and done that. When I first had this car, I had clear indicators, and I think I prefer orange nowadays. I have seen people tint the headlights and orange indicators, and I think, in my opinion, that is looking best at the moment like i said i know a lot of people use clear indicators but i'm a little bit over it it's yeah it's one of them i just want orange indicators i think it just looks its age with orange indicators i don't know if clear indicators are one of those things that i mean i put them on first time to make the car look newer but now i think it's past that and i don't want to make the car look newer i want it to look how it should effectively so yeah let me know what you think whether you like clear indicators orange indicators what have you got on yours if you've got tinted headlights whether you've done them with film or split them, let me know, because I am interested. That is definitely something that I want to do on the channel. But enough of me waffling on. I'm happy with that. So we shall go back, open up the old tent of dreams, and crack on taking some bits off. So we're going to leave the parts department for now. Um, we'll go get the car sort of unwrapped out of the tent, or whatever you want to call it, and start getting some stuff off. This tent, by the way, is taking an absolute hammering. I did get some proper ground anchors to put it down, but how windy it is out in the open here, it has been, um, yeah, it's been getting blown about a bit. All the pegs have sort of been lifted out. It's torn in places and stuff like that. So overall, I'm quite glad that I got a cheap one because it means that I'm not really that bothered that it's ripping and stuff like that. So yeah, just a quick update. Tent is holding up, but it's not in the best condition. So it's one of them though. Okay, so apologies if the lighting in here isn't great. I've been trying to really minimise how much I've been filming in here because I know it is just so green. Everything is green in here. Like I said before, it literally, when you walk outside, it's like the whole world is pink because it is just that green in here. I've got a couple of lights set up. So hopefully it's not too bad. It's as best I can do. Uh, but yeah, so today we need to take these low arms off. They need to come off. We've got two of them. Um, all the bushes in them are knackered. The... Yeah, it's just there's grease leaking out of them. They're all just a bit dodgy, to be honest. So those need to come off. Um, I need to get some new bolts for the inside of them because I don't want to put any bolts back on that I don't have to. So we'll get new bolts for those. These steering arms, they need to come off. We've got new ones of those. Obviously, one of them was wrong. I've sent that back. The right one is now on order and should hopefully be with us before all the suspension comes. Keep it nice and easy. Um, we've got to get the rear suspension off and then I need to work out exactly which bolts I need to 
put it all back together without using any of the rusty, knackered ones that came off. Right, so that's both the steering arms off. Um, these are actually, I'm pretty sure, original. I don't know if you can see, just there, the bushing itself is actually marked VW Audi. So that is, I'm fairly certain, original. Now, I know that this car has had a few different sets of suspension. Firstly, because when I used to have it, I put a set of TA Technics coilovers on. So I'm fairly sure that all this is going to be original including the actual track rod end now that has got a lot of play in it and when i was driving the car before i took it off the road for all this sort of stuff there was quite a few knocks and bangs so hopefully replacing all these little bits is going to really tighten it up make it all nice it doesn't actually look in that bad condition but i've got new stuff to put on so i might as well and then i will also show you the bottom arms so that's the bottom arm again not in amazing condition um mainly from me knackering it trying to trying to get it off but like i said i don't know how long they've been on there um yeah it's one of them you can see that that bushing's fairly worn um, they do come with like cups instead of like washers there's like they're like little dishes and effectively people always put them on the wrong way around so i don't know if you see there whoever put this one on last put it on the wrong way around i've checked on the parts diagrams but basically people put the cups in like that over and it basically squishes the rubber part rather than touching the metal bit so as you tighten it up it's sort of compressing the bush and i don't know if that causes them to see like you can see there where it's kind of cut in i don't know if that causes them to wear out quicker or what but they are meant to go the other way so i'm trying to get some of those at the moment we'll put them back on the right way around and with new control arms as well it should all be nice and smooth and hopefully not too many bangs. Right, so that is everything off. We've got steering arms, they're off. We've got lower control arms, they're off. We've got rear springs, they're off. The rear shockers, they're off. Everything does look pretty knackered. I don't know how long it's been on there, but you can see from that, it's all sort of pretty nasty. Lovely set of TA Technics. I don't know how much these are. I think they're about less than 150 quid for a full suspension kit. I had these before I put TA Technics coilovers on the first time and they work good then and they're not particularly very good now. It sort of does a job if you just want to drop your car 80 mil or something. It, it's, it, does, it does a job, but it's not very comfy. It's very bouncy, as you can see. You know, I can literally push these springs together. Very flexible. Anyway, 
Whoa. Right, that's going to be it for this video. We've managed to get everything off that we needed to. We've got lower arms off, we've got the steering arms off, we've got the rear suspension off. Uh, it gives me a good opportunity to find out which bolts that I need to get to put back in. But yeah, it's been it's been successful coming down. It is getting dark now, as you can see, so I need to be off. Um, I've got to clean my other car and stuff like that ready for work in the morning, because unfortunately, I've got to go to work still. So either way. But yeah, if you have enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, give it a comment. What are you doing with your cars this week? And make sure you click the subscribe button to help move the channel forward. Until next time.